Hello everybody and welcome. This is another video with Jack from Circus of the Dead Productions. <laughs> well everybody, we have a very exciting update video for you all. Now I know I said I'd be updating the YouTube channel a lot more regularly, uh, but I do not really like to update when uh, there's nothing too exciting to show. But uh, I've saved the, uh, the best for, for this video today. We have a lot of exciting things to talk about. Um, the first thing I wanted to address uh, was the new blade heads, which I showed off uh, in the last video, but you couldn't really see them. So I'm going I'm to show them off again and just make sure that you can really get a good, a good look at how these work. Um, okay, so here we go. So you pull the string. And the eyes pop out, and you pull the other string, and they retract back in. First string out, second string in. So that's how they work. Um, really, uh, really nice, smooth motion with that. Really fantastic. And these spikes are steel, so there's that to look forward to as well as the articulated jaw. So there's that too. Um, so yeah, there, there's the new blade heads, uh, screen accurate in every way, just, uh, absolutely, uh, lovely and beautiful. Uh, next up we have one of our, uh, for here, I believe, one of our, uh, assembled jester heads. There's a, there's a little more paint touch-up to do on this, this guy, as you can see, uh, but this is a, a painted and assembled four-part jester head, uh, it came out really, really good. I'm very, uh, what is that? Very pleased with how this one came out so far. Uh, he's got a little more touch up to do, but I already said that. So, um, but with this, the the head doesn't uh, doesn't like flop around or anything. But you can pose the sections, so uh, it's really nice uh, that you can do that and just have him however you want, like in his iconic head pose, or whatever you prefer, but when you line them back up, they will they will stay where they're put, so that's good. Um, another little uh, video update, I would like to show off our pinheads, because I'm not sure if I ever showed off these, these lovely guys <clears throat> in a video before. Uh, he's not wearing his boots right now because I found a actually an even better set of boots for him. So on Pinhead, the boots aren't going to be handmade. Uh, I found a really nice set of doll boots, and I figured you know if if the thing already exists, nice as can be, you know, accurate, cool. Why would I uh, put the extra time into to hand make it when it's already been done perfect? So that's my that's my philosophy. Anyway, on, on this particular guy, um, he does have these heads, whoa, <laughs> these sweaters are hand dyed, by the way, um, and you can get just about whatever look uh, you want, and just, uh, if you if you get one of these custom, uh, you can just tell me what look you're going for, and I'll make sure it happens. Uh, this pin head here is actually very special in the fact that he's designed, uh, for a good customer of mine, uh, who's been waiting for this guy for a little bit, um, he's designed as a rod puppet, folks. Uh, so there's a oh, there's a way to uh, loosen his joints and his arms, and then you can uh, I have them at about half half tightness right now, um, and then you can actually there's a little hole uh, in the seam that I put there uh, for just this purpose and you can reach it up and it'll go through a little hole in the latex hand and go into his into his uh, arm frame and then it'll allow him to be rod puppeteered and he can be like oh hi or whatever you'd want him to do or like reach out and attack somebody um, this is other than that this is a standard construction pinhead it's standing back up here and a standard pinhead is uh, He's got a PVC frame, which is nice, um, 
and, and a good soft body and it's very uh, very sturdy and you might think oh PVC isn't that plastic it's breakable or whatever but no uh, PVC very very durable uh, as long as you keep it out of the sunlight but since it's inside them doesn't matter um, but very very durable can take a lot of abuse um, and so there's stop motion joints in his shoulders here in his elbows here they can be loosened and tightened depending on whether you want to pose him and be like oh hi you know have him on your shelf like that or whether you want to loosen him up and do some rod puppeteering so uh, very excited this guy and the blade that goes with him are both uh, made to be rod puppets so that's, uh, that's pretty cool uh, to see that happen. Um, also there's stop motion joints in his knees and in his, uh, his pants are falling down here uh, in his knees and uh, yeah the hips are a little bit different than that uh, they're just uh, PVC swing joints and I did that because the hips because of his belly can be particularly difficult uh, if you would want him to sit down like uh, if you want him to sit down like on a shelf or something um, the hips would be uh, particularly difficult to get the stop motion joints to stay where they're put and that's just because of his belly like his belly padding and the hip padding being around that joint as well uh, so that's why I opted for you just sit him down like that uh, and he stays put because of the PVC joints have a lot more friction uh, a standard pinhead also comes with uh, shoulder rotation as well so that's a, that's a pretty cool feature and I make these all by hand except for the boots of course which I already talked about alrighty set him over there now uh, one more little announcement we you'll notice this this lovely little fellow sitting here um, I'm gonna be working on finding the various fabrics because um, the the full moon replica of the of the Dijin or the homunculus whatever you want to call him is actually very accurate so uh, a, a good pal of mine Blake uh, thank you for this uh, has sent this to me um, so I can cast off the hands and the feet uh, I already have a head being cast right now so that's that's good uh, thank you Justin for uh, sending that head my way I'll be casting off his buttons as well but the main thing is going to just be uh, finding the fabric that uh, the fabric that matches this because this is kind of fancy fabric so uh, I hope I can find something comparable if not I'll uh, I'll scan in the uh, the pants and the shirt and then have a uh, a custom fabric made or something along those lines uh, but yeah you can look forward to that in the future and they'll be they'll be posable and stuff uh, just like the just like the rest of the puppets uh, He's a little bit shorter. If I got my, my blade here, who stands 21 inches tall, actually I think 20 without his hat on, uh, he is a little bit shorter than the other ones, but that's okay because uh, in the, even in the movie he would have been shorter. Just uh, I did a measure um, based on the measurements of the head, uh, how big the, um, <clears throat> the puppet would be, and this is an accurate size. Funny th enough, uh, this body that they're using is actually a foam cast of like a baby doll body, which is a um, little odd, but still pretty pretty cool to uh, to see there. So that's that's really cool, and uh, these are probably the hands off that same baby doll. Um, but yeah, really cool to see. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have saved the best for last, and uh, this will just blow your minds. This is the culmination of uh, a lot, a lot of work on the part of my amazing friend and sculptor, uh, Mr. Tim, who uh, took a really, really terrible uh, casting that was uh, that was found, uh, and. Um, really worked wonders with it, ground most of it down, uh, and completely reshaped the thing and measured it from the screen. It's 110% screen accurate uh, to the film. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 
the most accurate torch head ever conceived. This uh, this is just the helmet that I'm showing off now because I have the the teeth detached. That's going to be a separate part. It's going to be a a several part um, thing. And the way it's going to work is there's going to be the jaw, the uh, the palate, which is what the bullets are attached to. And we're going to try to use uh, real bullets, disarmed of course. The primers and gunpowder will be taken out of them. Uh, and they'll be set in at the exact heights and measurements uh, that the original bolts are because if you notice Torch, his teeth aren't all quite even so they will be uh, measured and set in at the exact heights of uh, Torch's original teeth. Uh, there are some amazing fins that go on but I don't have those with me right now uh, and I doubt the camera would pick them up so uh, You'll be able to see pictures of those on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, this this head is actually going off in the morning uh, to get 3D scanned. And then from there, they'll be made out of aluminum. There will be the cheaper resin uh, version as well. Uh, but the main, uh, the main ones will be made out of aluminum and actually anodized to the correct color. So there's not going to be any real paint involved except maybe some weathering paints of some like flat blacks to put into the crevices and I'll uh, take a little piece of sandpaper and scrape off the anodization in, in a few spots so it shows the silver underneath. But yeah, the jaw, the head, and the uh, the frame underneath the helmet will be made out of aluminum as well as the spike. Um, and it's going to be done by a, uh, a professional shop that actually does uh, custom motorcycle parts. Um, but yeah, it'll be several uh, several parts uh, to the kit. There will be uh, the jaw, the the palate, which will attach to an underskull that is like a complete head, second head under this helmet that has the mount for the jaw and and the uh, teeth and the eyes, the uh, eye reflectors. I believe I have one of those uh, on me. Oh, here is one. Uh, so yeah, these. This is one of the uh, reflectors I use. It's actually a copper cap that I like to uh, polish up, and then they go in there. Uh, they go behind the eye lenses. The eye lenses will be laser cut uh, from uh, red acrylic and lit up with amber lights, and it will be absolutely flawless. Um, a lot. Again, a lot of time went into this, ladies and gentlemen, and it's just. Tim did such an amazing job. Unlike the uh, the six shooter that was kind of a collaborative effort, but was more Tim. Uh, this one, this one was all Tim. Uh, from from a uh, a really really terrible casting uh, that was that was warped in several spots, and now it's just it's just flawless and uh, perfect. And then the jaw was actually not modeled by Tim, but by a three D. A modeler that I work with sometimes uh, and he did a wonderful job so thank you uh, Alex if you ever see this video thank you for that you did a wonderful job and there's just some tweaks that uh, are going to be done to the jaw before it gets milled out of aluminum uh, by the uh, wonderful shop that I have doing it for me so uh, also another uh, product that will be coming out for those of you who want who are fans of Puppet Master and fans of Torch in particular and want something on your shelf but don't really have the room or the money for a full puppet um, there will be a little uh, display offer that is a replica of uh, what you see in Puppet Master 2 when Toulon is putting Torch together there, you see a little display stand uh, where you see Torch's head with his spike on there and then the jaw sitting underneath and it doesn't have the teeth or the eyes in yet but uh, that'll be in resin and it'll just be really cool. It'll be like a little display stand and, and then underneath there there will be a little plaque that says Puppet Master 2 uh, Torch Head. Um, it'll be really cool and just like a, a little cheap thing and, and you can have it on your shelf and it'll look super, super cool. Um, but yeah, that, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things that I have to be doing tonight. Uh, some orders that I'm going to try to get out uh, by the end of the week. So, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you a good night 
and have a great rest of your week, folks. Should have a few more update videos for you. Uh, I'm going to say Monday of next week, just to be safe, but hopefully before that, because uh, the scanning company has informed me that it will only take two days to scan it and send it back, but if it takes two days to get there, two days to scan, should be uh, by the end of the week that I get this and the uh, the files back uh, from the scanning place. So, um, yeah, that's uh, really exciting stuff going on. And then from there, it just needs to be tweaked a little bit. The underskull needs to be finished. Uh, the model for the underskull needs to be finished. And then that's it. Then it can be made. So, alright. Have a great night, ladies and gentlemen.